Hey folks, welcome to this super cool video series where we're diving into the mind-boggling realm of open source AI tools. Yep, you heard it right. These tools can match the fancy features of those expensive ones. And today, we're all about talking avatar animation. You've been itching to know how to create those witty AI characters that can talk up a storm, right? Well, get ready for the secret sauce. In this video, I'll show you how to rock the talking avatar scene using stable diffusion. Whether you want to go remote or roll on your PC, the choice is yours. So, get ready for a wild ride as we explore the world of talking avatar animation. It's gonna be mind-blowing, I promise. Alrighty, let's dive in. So one of the stable diffusion extension I am using regularly is the one called Sad Talker. Now you can create one image and then have your voice recording and upload into this is Sad Talker extension in Stable Diffusions. And you can just simply generate talking avatar animations using that image. And it will eventually looks like a speaking person. And also they have Discord for you to test out in this highlight sections. And also they have some examples here. So some of you have asked me like few times already and I keep forgetting about introducing this tool. And today I have to do this tutorial video about it. And here you have the Discord when you click inside and you go to this talking video gen channel in their Discord in server. The and you can see other users are generating result Every in previous few days ago. Every night I hear my daughter's ago. laughter from the locked basement. But she went missing five years ago. Tonight, her voice whispered, Mommy, I'm not alone down here. Every and you can night, see the face talking animation is pretty smooth for storytelling scenes using this, like this doctor talking. But I saw the Discord recent submissions and including mine in here. It doesn't generate any animation, so maybe their server is dead or just in maintenance. So I'm going to show you another two methods of using Sad Talker, which is in, in Google Colab and Stable Diffusion Automatic 11 on 11. So for the Sad Talker, they have installation guide in here in which they have list all the requirements, what kind of Python they need you to install on your PC and the GitHub. Also the FFmpeg software that you have to download. And I have previous videos about how to download this, install and add this in variable path of your Windows system. You can check that out. Here, the following part. They have all the pre-trained models and I suggest you download in Google Drive link and also the offline patch for GFP GAN. So all this feel you will need that if you download offline in your computer. And one of the quick start you can use is the Google Colab where they have already listed on here. You can click the Colab link and it will redirect you to the page. And here is really simple. You just click few runs button followed by the sequence and then you can upload your image and your audio files and it will generate the talking avatar animations for you. So let me click like the download software, which is Sad Talker, download trained models and GFP GAN patches. Then you go sequence step by step here, okay? So why I wanna introduce this tools for you guys, because recently I received a lot of emails from some third parties or some kind of AI software products that they want me to introduce their product and I reject a lots of them because I saw lots of them is basically using stable diffusion or something like sad talk or base model without any custom trained AI models. They just upload the tools like this sad talker and then reskin the interface as their website and charging people's money for this. And I want my subscribers here to have a clear picture that you can use that for free. You don't need to pay people for this kind of tools because this is open source tool. So that's why I explore some of the tools. Hope you guys don't get ripped off. I mean, if your software product have custom trained checkpoint models or a better talking avatar model like Hagen, then it's fine to use. But if something like the one I highlighted in this video intro, then that is a no go. Okay, so back to the Google Colab here. Now you will have to upload your image and also your audio files. So for the source image, you will put in this source image folder and also the audios file you will put in this driven audio subfolder. And then also you have to rename this file's name as your files. So for example, like mine, 
I am using Talking1.mp3. This is my files here. And then for the image path, I will just go to the source uh, image subfolder. Uh, look for my files here. Now first, I have to upload my files. So my files name is called face.png. What I will have to do in here, I will copy the path of this face.png file. So right click and paste the content path on the image equals the value and replace this value. You will be working fine. Then you press the play button and let it run for a couple of minutes. Then you will have your result here and the last sections below. That is video player display functions that you can instantly display the result inside. Don't get tricked by the market. You don't have to purchase any tool. You can use open source options like this to create your talking avatar. I hope this is helpful and inspiring for you to try out. And you can also download in here. Right click and click the download button in this result subfolders and that's pretty easy self-explain it in this google collab i think everyone that follows my video should understand how to play this okay so the next method i'm going to show is the sad talker run in automatic 11 11. now this is what i use for whenever i feel like to using this talking animations and what I did is the same link as what we have in here, the GitHub page. And then we just copy this link to install the extension. In this tabs, and okay, once again, remember, download this pre-trained models and also the offline patch files. Okay, all these files, you have to download this. You cannot run without download this files. And don't claim in the comment section that you cannot run it. And you have not downloaded this yet. You are embarrassing yourself if someone reply you about that. So where should I put the models files and those offline patches files? Now you go to your extension folder web UI and then click inside the extension folder. You see this sad talker after you install it from the extension tab. And then you go to this checkpoint folder. Now you will got to put your four models, pre-trained models folder into this checkpoint subfolder. Okay, then you go back to the sad talker folder. You see this uh, GFP Jan subfolder. Now you go inside here, you create a folder called wait. Okay. And then in the wait folder, you got to locate all your patch files, which is four files into here. And that is that simple. All right, then everything is simple. You just need these two folder and file steps before you run this sad talker. Also, before run this extension in automatic 1111, you will have to download this FFmpeg software. Okay, so basically it's in their official website. Click your operating system and click that download it. It's that simple. I have videos talk about that, how to install step by step before, and you can check that out in this videos recommend videos. So now let's back to the automatic 1111. As you can see, I'm not having much stable diffusion checkpoints model on the top because currently for Sad Talker, we don't use the checkpoint model. We're using their Sad Talker talking animations models. So you click to this Sad Talker extension tabs on the top menu. You go to this page, you will see the AI is pretty easy. So for the image, simply drag and drop one of the demo image which is already also the same image that i did in google collab example also for input audio as well let's generate and you can see the result so on the right hand side you have post style so there's variant styles of movement like a little movement you can try with different post styles in here just move the slider on this control can test it out by yourself but usually I like to use post out 25, something like that. And for the face model resolutions, I pick like 512 as usual. And processors I use full remember to use the GFP GAN face enhancer. Now this will be getting your face movement and talking mouth is more smooth in this animation. So just click generate and it will run automatically. Now when you finish, you will see this generate videos message in your command prompts. Then it will appear the video player below that and you will click this play button and try it yourself.
Don't get tricked by the market. You don't have to purchase any tool. You can use open source options like this to create your talking avatar. I hope this is helpful and inspiring for you to try out. And you can also download it on the right top corner, that icon, and yeah, that is it. That is it for this very simple and useful extension. If you're using AI as the presentations, you can use this for lots of things. You can use it for tutorials like this, and you can use it for your YouTube videos, talking narrations. Yeah, so that is that simple. See you guys in the next videos. Maybe that will be before or after Christmas. Maybe something surprise before Christmas. I don't know. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy your weekend. See ya.